everyone and welcome back to my channel so my name is Liz and if you're not new here then you will know that I post about four videos a week at the moment just because we're in quarantine um, and they're all beauty related all testing videos all makeup tutorials because that's what I love I have done since I was like 10 years old so in this video we are gonna test this little bad boy out this is the eyes go wild palette by L'Oreal it was 14 pounds 99 so it is a bit expensive it has 16 shades in there and looks like this I love the outer packaging like the bronze shade to it it's like something different to what is at the drugstore at the moment it's kind of like borderline drugstore and high-end just because of the price tag I feel if you guys like what you see then please stay tuned because I will show you how I got this look this is what the palette looks like. It is called the L'Oreal Eyes Go Wild Palette. And these are the lovely shades in there. So I will swatch a few for you. They're like so soft. They feel lo so like luxurious, but it was a 15 pound palette. Look at that. It's got some lovely shades in there and I can't wait to use them because I've got one of these L'Oreal palettes before and I don't think I ever actually used it yet. So yeah, I am going to go in with this shade here first and put that in my crease. Again, I'm using my Jessup brushes and this is the 227. I don't think you can see it. Um, it's just like my skin tone. So I'm going to take this shade next. It's like a warm tone brown. And then I want to take this more like ready toned brown. I'm loving all the shades in this palette. But it's funny. It doesn't feel like they're in compartments. Like There is this tiny little like separator. But I love how flat it looks. It just looks luxurious if you can see. I'm going to keep this lower than the other two shades. And for my lid shade, I really don't want to wet my brush. I really want to try this without it. So I'm using the Jessup 237, which is a really flat brush. This pink shade is really calling out to me. I don't know if it's like a lavender kind of shade. Let's see, if it doesn't work, then we will wet the brush. Okay, no, it don't work. <laughs> it's a really rosy tone shade crumbling everywhere it's like just glitter so I tried a different brush and it's still kind of crumbling everywhere it's more it feels like more of a like topper shade so I'm going to try it with my finger and then I want to go back in with this brown here and just blend out the edges it is a real like it's just more of a topper it's not really a like a glittery shade. I want to do under my eyes and I want to start off with this shade here that we use second in my crease. I'm going to again use this Jessup brush in 230. Then I want to go in with this shade here again on the same brush. So the only thing we haven't done is an inner corner and brow bone highlight and I want to take this shade here which just looks like that. That would have been a lovely normal highlight colour. Wow. And this is the finished look. And here are the swatches. So that is the top two rows and the bottom two rows swatched in order. They swatch really nicely. I did struggle with that with this corner shade on my eyelid but the rest, the rest of them are swatching really good, so I don't know if it was just the way I was using it. Maybe I need to try it a different way to use it, so maybe next time I'll use a different pigment and we'll see if that works. But overall, I, I like the palette. Like I would rate it maybe a 7 out of 10 just because of the fact that that 
um, foil shade didn't really work but maybe next time I'll use it as a topper because it was more glittery than anything so I think it was more like a topper than it was an actual lid shade but I, I do love the packaging of it I love the colour story it's £15 so it is pushing it just that little bit um, on my lips is a lip liner in Punchline by Peaches and Cream with one of their lip glosses in Melrose um, and I just wanted to go for a proper like glam look my highlight is this centre shade here which is the MU8 Gradient Light Palette in Golden Glow um, I thought it would be a bit more golden but it isn't but I'm not mad at it so yeah <laughs> that's new for me I hope you guys enjoyed this little video please subscribe down below give me a big thumbs up and I will see you next time Bye guys.